Yeah, here I am. Here we are. Yes, another week. If you bring a non-African, you and the non-African will be escorted out. All right, clap if you think she should suffer. I was supposed to put them bitches in their place, and that's what I did 24 7. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show stopping, spectacular. Hello, hotties, and welcome or welcome back to another video here in Silk World, where I say what I want and you choose to click on my video, so you have to make peace with that. Today, I'll be talking about the worst K pop abominations so far in the year 2022, and when I say this list was difficult to cut at seven songs, you best believe me. We had some god-awful shit this year, most of the releases were mediocre as hell, and some rare bops came along the way. So without further ado let's get into the 7 monstrosities your faves flooded the market with because some demon somewhere told them they can sing. Starting off strong at number 7 is Good Boys Gone Bad by TXT. I don't want to compile their stages or performances all for the sake of this video because ooh, so here's some random girly fancoms. I'm of the opinion TXT has never made good music and I know y'all will be mad but I stand by that. Their songs have always sounded bad to me, that's just my taste, but this one was so much worse than I expected. TXT for me is a perfect example of pretty boy privilege combined with big company privilege. Y'all want them so bad because they're not bad looking that you've convinced yourself this song is good. It's not. Usually I can say a song I don't like is bad for me but anyone else liking it is valid in their own way. But Good Boys Gone Bad is so catastrophically demonic that I think anyone who enjoys it really needs to re-evaluate their standards. Cute guys on a screen are not worth putting yourself through this baby I believe you can get well if you try. The vocals are terrible. The rapping is a hate crime against the blacks, and I will genuinely hoop you if you try to convince me these teenagers can successfully pull off a dark concept. This is just emo 2013 Tumblr aesthetic with a little glitter on it. The chorus feels like a satanic chant. Everything about this song is wrong and I don't forgive any of you for letting TXT have a career when their discography is well and truly ass. This one is personal. This one hurts me. I love Luna's music and I was so excited for their summer comeback after Queendom. I was expecting another Luna banger that gives me more badass girl boss hip hop dance vibes and instead I got sleep inducing boring ass Pinterest cottage core Luna. Biggest disappointment of the year. First of all, the music video may be somewhat aesthetically pleasing but what's up with the girlies looking like they're being held hostage. The non-stop dead-eyed smiling is so unsettling like y'all for real look like your moms are captives in another room and if you don't stare right into the camera and show us all your teeth the producer's gonna start shooting. Second, the song is bad. No way to talk around it. It's empty. The vocals are off and sound like nails on a board which is so unlike Luna. And the chorus is a kid's bop original. Y'all can be mad about Lee Suman's involvement with Luna all you want but he did give them good music and as far as I'm concerned with the way Luna's been heading in the last two years. They seem doomed. Get your shit together Blockberry because it's looking like the only group paying your electric bill doesn't have much time left. I miss you so what era? Here I am, forced to talk about men again. I'm not happy about it either. Usually when it comes to 17, I'm pretty neutral. The only song of theirs that I remember and like is hit but even then it's not in my library and I don't listen to it lmao so that's that. Unfortunately they crawled out of the hole of forgotten groups in my head and grabbed my attention this year by dropping a terrible song. If someone who never listened to K-pop asked me to describe the most basic bitch generic pre-production boy group song. I would tell them to listen to Hot by 17. The auto-tune is the first issue that comes up and there's just so much of it and not a second sounds good. Like I said this song is just so generic and uninteresting, they went for the most predictable and uninspired sound possible and I wouldn't even care if the chorus didn't piss me off. Who told them this was a good choice? They was lying, 
Seventeen fans are always going on and on about how creative and talented their group is because some of the members produce the music themselves so I'm looking y'all right in the eye now. This song says to me that Seventeen peaked many years ago and they're so drained creatively that they put this shit out, which also tells me that they only have two paths to choose from. Either they get their shit together and come back with a good song, or this is the beginning of the inevitable end of third gen boy groups. Either way I couldn't care less LMAO just stop releasing bad music thanks besties. Bad, terrible, horrible, unlistenable, irredeemable. I'm not even Christian but I'm pretty sure this is what they play during exorcisms because even demons wanna get the fuck out of a room that has this song. I'm not against experimental songs but this shit just sucks. Like there's nothing else to say this is just bad music. It's loud, it's blurring, it's messy but not in a good way, it sounds like circus music on crack and I can't stand it. Some of the girls voices are fine and I'm sure they sound better when the song isn't this bad. But some of them. How much longer do I have to suffer through y'all telling pretty people they can sing when they can't? I'm at my wits end I really can't take this no more something has to change. Anyway TLDR throw the whole song out and remind me of Billy when their producers stop working in a hot box. This song is so fucking irritating I can't stand it. And while I'm at it stop saying that Tsuki girl is a stage presence goddess she's literally pulling faces like a toddler with their nose pressed up against a car window. It's not cute baby girl you look like you need medical relief. This supergroup is actually one of the funniest fuckups I ever seen. Only a K-pop group can assemble some of the most talented and iconic idols just to give them a fucking terrible song. When I saw that SM made a female super M with girlies from Red Velvet and SNSD and BOA, I was super excited. Then I saw the performance video and I was confused. And then I saw the lyrics and confusion turned into rage. I can't believe Super M got to be the fucking Avengers of K-pop and have cool ass lyrics like when we jump in and pop and we jop in. Meanwhile got the beat are singing about their boyfriend being sick and tired every day from women throwing themselves at him. Death to SM. Anyway back to the music. I saw someone say that the intensity and step back was way too much throughout the song. And I definitely agree. The song started up so high already and kept building up with nowhere to go. The pre-chorus with them saying next level and other level made me rip my earphones out. Also Hyoyeon needs to stop rapping for real stop letting her rap it ruins even the worst of songs. Step back is so bad that I'm actually obsessed with it a little. I've never seen a group with the best singers and dancers. A group have everything right from the start just to deliver such a fucking terrible product. They couldn't even give us a mid-song, I would have been less angry with something generic. No they had to bring out shit from NCT's recycling folder. That's it I gotta stop talking about this group before I get even angrier. Two well-known facts about me are that I'm a nigga and a Blackpink enjoyer meaning I've listened to all their songs and choose to keep listening to their music. Meaning I've heard Lisa do something she says is rapping on multiple occasions, and I knew exactly what the fuck her solo would sound like. And I had one and just one reaction to it. Flop. Girl you have done it again. Constant lowering the bar for us all, and doing it flawlessly. I'd say I'm surprised, but I know who you are. I've seen it up close and personal. Girl, you make me so ashamed. Lisa can't rap, period. She doesn't know how and she's been trying for seven years now but she can't and she never will. Not only is she fucking terrible at it, she also puts on a black scent, and y'all can spin it however you want it doesn't make it any less racist. A black scent is a non-black person imitating the way black people specifically black Americans talk and rap naturally. Lisa imitates the way niggas rap which is literally just the way we talk naturally. Black rappers don't get in the booth and pretend to speak in a way they don't speak in normally every day since birth. That's racist no matter how many non-blacks do it and no matter how much y'all defend them so shut the fuck up and let the niggas speak on nigga issues. Lisa's a gorgeous girl and a good dancer and she clearly likes performing but she needs to stop rapping because she ruins every fucking song she's on. 
Hell, even ice cream is fun and goofy until she opens her mouth and spits out the worst sounds a bitch has ever heard. The fuck you mean brr brr frozen you the one been chosen in that nasal ass voice girl you would get shanked in the hood and you would deserve it. Stick to singing and dancing that shit you're actually decent at. I wanna take this time to talk about a topic people avoid a lot for some reason I don't understand. Even in this supposedly progressive society we live in there's a taboo against talking about songs that are just too fucking powerful. But today I'm breaking that taboo by unmasking the song that hurt me the most in 2022, which is Ives Love Dive. This song is too much. It makes my chest ache when I listen to it. Clearly the producers are evil maniacs for stitching together a melody so addictive. A chorus laced with real life crack cocaine. A dance break choreographed by Jesus Christ himself. I'm not kidding he literally walked into the practice room put his hair up and choreographed Love Dive. The vocals are so sickening like it's a biohazard to listen to these girls say ooh 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 la 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 la. I personally broke every single bone in my body twice. All 206 bones in my skeleton got shattered and demolished because this song forces me to shake my ass so hard every time. It's truly demonic and, oh my god, do y'all hear that? Oh fuck oh no oh no I can't control it I can't narcissistic my god I love it Sora rule bitch and bum. Sit hotties thanks for watching and as usual if you're gonna get mad at me go ahead rant in the comments I'm totally 100% gonna take you seriously and not just laugh and show a pissed off K-pop stand to my friends. There's lots more to come so keep your energy moi bye girl. It's the